Well, good morning, everybody. Good morning, good morning. Welcome back to Real Talk with SLR. How are you guys doing today? Well, Gary's with me today. Yep, <laughs> I am uh, back on the 41.36. Yeah, so today might not be uh, as awkward as yesterday was. <laughs> <laughs> But hey, it's all good. How'd you, uh, do you have fun over at David's? Oh yeah, it's always a good time over there. Yeah? Always, yeah. Y'all handling business? Yeah, my, uh, my arms are a little sore, but it is what it is. Yeah. Well, Comes I'm, with the nature of the beast. I'm glad you were able to run over there and rescue him, cause yeah. Yep. I do have a video edited, guys. Woot woot. Yep. Um, you guys are gonna be seeing it on Simple Life Reclaimed here in just a little while. It shouldn't be too long now. Um, but it's gonna have some of what David was out there and about doing yesterday. Also, some of the girls' day with Lissa. So mm -hmm. that's, that's fun and exciting. Yeah. Um, the big meat of everything, though, like the emergency is gonna be on uh, Come On Home setting, right? Yeah. 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 He got himself in a precarious situation, to say the least. <laughs> it was a pickle for sure. <laughs> yeah, it went down and not the right way. Yeah, instead of like drifter down, it was come on down. Yeah. <laughs> Almost like the price is right. Come on down. <laughs> Sorry. Yep, yep. Sorry, I went somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but. Man, though, it was a really good day. Um, I know that you are super sore. You were telling me this morning, you're like, oh. oh. I'm beat. Yeah. I'm beat. I'm definitely going to be. Uh, probably taking a nap today. Well, good. That's uh, that's most likely going to happen. <laughs> I, think, I think floating in the pool is on the agenda for me today. Yeah? Yeah. That does sound pretty good. Yeah. A little I've, relax, nice cool water. I've cleaned that pool and I haven't even gotten into it yet. It's about time you uh, mm -hmm. reaped the fruits of your hard labor. Right. Yeah. Right. Well, the kids had a great sleepover yesterday. Um, Lissa and me, we had a good girls' day and um, yeah. made some good sweets and stuff like that. And um, the girls, one of Julia's little friends bailed out, but that's okay. She still had one of the other ones come, which yeah. is fine. And um, look what they did all by themselves yesterday, guys. <laughs> they had a camp out. The girls actually wanted and had a camp out. Um, I was actually really proud of them because I didn't do any of this. They set up the air mattress. They set the whole thing up. They did it all themselves. And they were this close from staying in it all night. Yep. They uh, did the whole kid thing, you know. 11 o'clock rolls around. They're like, yeah. No, they I'm made it. I'm back inside. They made it. <laughs> past 11 o'clock they were right about to midnight yeah. and then they were like oh I'm you know I want to come inside but yeah. one by one they started trailing on in you know <laughs> once one comes in it's all oh, all right and I'm then going the in. Uh, I'm going in too <laughs> and the last one is like I don't want to be out here by myself yeah exactly yeah. they're like uh yeah <laughs> why'd you leave me yeah. <laughs> hey it's all good, man. I remember doing that as a kid. I, I think when I was about Julia's age, though, that's when I actually started staying out all night yeah. um, inside the tents. But, yeah. I mean, you can't blame them. They're still pretty little, you know? They're still growing up. They're still little guys. It'll be a little different once we get a, a good fence around this area. They and might they... feel a little bit more protected, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, but... I mean, the dog slept with them and everything else, too. Yeah, they Lola was like, out there with them. Nope, I ain't doing this. Yeah. <laughs> yep. I don't blame them. I yeah. mean... There are bears out here. There are things out here that are a little bit different than when, you know, us growing up as kids and whatnot. And I, I did find, you know, I did have to deal with that snake yesterday, too, so... Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that was definitely on their mind, but... Yeah. Yeah. It's a little bit more different, in the, or it's a little bit different, you know, than uh, when we were growing up and everything else. Well, when we were doing it, but, growing up, we were doing it in, like, a suburban backyard. Exactly. <laughs> so it's... Oh, it's a lot different, I would say. I mean, we're literally backed up to National Forest Land. That yep. mountain right there um, is National Forest. I know you can't see it on the GoPro, but believe me, with your naked eye, it's a lot closer than it actually is on the camera. And there's um, like three mountain ranges right there. You got the, the big one, and then you have one that goes like this, and then you have the close one that goes like that. And our property actually goes all the way up to that first mountain range, and we own property property up to it so yeah. like our property Actually, is past that it first, does if that first mountain ridge just ever so slightly it's like like the tiniest little piece yeah. but um yeah our property is kind of long and skinny rectangle yeah 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 but it's uh it's pretty cool you see that bird flying over there in the air yeah so majestic mm -hmm. so majestic 
Oh. Well, we've got another beautiful day on the horizon, friends. Um, it's blue skies. We've got a couple of clouds out and about, but they're, they're the wispy, skies. the wispy little clouds. Yeah, they ain't bothering nobody. No, but it is bright and sunny. I know. And it's supposed to be bright and sunny this whole weekend, which is going to be awesome. Yeah, it's Memorial Day weekend. Um, Tomorrow is actually Memorial Day, so we want to take a little bit of time and thank all the veterans who have served. Yes. Um, we would not have the freedoms that we are able to enjoy without your guys' service. No. And we know that there are many out there that have paid the ultimate sacrifice, and I guarantee you know somebody. Mm -hmm. So we definitely respect that, and we want to thank you guys from the bottom of our hearts for it. Um, but we have some wonderful plans. We're going to use those freedoms, and we're yes. going to enjoy our day tomorrow. You guys will find out all about that later on, because um, tomorrow is another day. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but we will be getting together with a lot of the, the friends and the family. i got to get with Anthony um, and find out when he's coming home. I don't know exactly when they're planning on coming back. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. i got to call him, because he's... You know, they're kind of playing it by ear. There's, as far as I knew, there wasn't like an exact set date. There was like a, a roundabout date. Yeah. And I know it's going to be soon. I just don't know when. Yeah. It's always the biggest question, right? <laughs> <laughs> when? When? <laughs> so but. I got to call Anthony and figure out. But I don't think he's going to be home for tomorrow. No. No. I think it's going to be us and um, the other Fram Bam. Yep. But. It will be. It'll be good. Yeah. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, me too. We're gonna, I'm going to do some fishing. You're spilling all the beans. I'm sorry. It's okay. Now you know what Gary's going to be doing. <laughs> Gary's got that. Gary's got that one track mind. You know. I am. Man. I'm sorry. Uh... <laughs> you know, David has been killing it uh, and spilling all the beans. Actually, there was a comment I read, or maybe it was. Um, I read a comment just the other day, and it was like, we need to change David's name from "Come on Home" setting to just Mr. Beans, and he can just be Mr. Bean. You know. Because all he's doing lately is spilling the beans. Yeah, I think that might be needed in Gary's name, right? I'm Bean sorry. spiller. I'm sorry. Hey, that hey it's, not, it's not really a big deal, guys. I'm just teasing him because it's funny. It's, <laughs> it is what it is. I it's mean, like, I'm going to go fishing. I husband and wife banter, all right? Give me a break. <laughs> yeah, I already got my fishing bait and everything. I know. No, I'm, it's I'm good. ready. It's I'm good. ready. And I know Abe's ready, too. Abe's, man, he even woke me up this morning. He's like, can we go fishing? Yeah. I was like, dude, we're going to go fishing tomorrow. I was yeah, like, not I today. know, but... I want to go fishing. Yeah. I was like, dude, we're not today. I'm sorry. And not he's like, today. but why? Because <laughs> tomorrow's another day. Yeah. Tomorrow's another day. Um, we still have Serenity over here. Julia's other little girlfriend had to go home already. Yeah. Um, but they had a great time. Julia actually got up and made breakfast for everybody. Yeah, she did. I'm very impressed with our daughter, how she's growing and like, you know, the maturity and skill set that she has. She was leading the pack with that tent. Yeah. She was 100%, Julia was 100% on it, leading the pack, telling everybody what to do, leading by example, super proud of her. And then this morning, she came over to me and she's like, Mom, can we have some breakfast? I said, yeah, you guys can have some breakfast, what y'all want? She said, well, we want bacon, we want eggs, we want this, we want that. I said, you know where the skillet's at? <laughs> she's all, yeah. I said, all right, go ahead, you know? And she's like, oh, I get to cook it. She's really excited that she got to cook. It wasn't like a, oh, I have to cook, you know? Yeah. She's at that age where she's still like, you know, it excites her and, you know. Yeah. And, and plus it was like, um, she, she kind of was able to impress her little friend, you know, because, you know, she got to rule the kitchen and yeah. Yeah, yeah. so it was cool. <laughs> so she made the bacon, she made the eggs and um, her little friend had to go, but we still have Serenity. And yeah. I know that the Drifting Dreamers 5 are planning on coming over today and picking up Serenity, but I think they're gonna have a hangout with us too. I don't know if David is on the agenda or not, but he's always more than welcome to. So yes. David, if you're seeing this, um, you know where we live, bro. So, <laughs> come on with it. Yes, yes. Come on though. down. <laughs> I'm it's, sorry. It's Squirrel. gonna be good. <laughs> yeah. But uh, but yeah, it's a uh, it's a beautiful day. It is. It's, it's a beautiful day. Gorgeous. You want to go check on the pool with me? I think that there's like some little floaters in there. I know that the kids were swimming in it all day yesterday. Yeah. Um, like they were in and out, in and out, in and out. Which they, was nice. I mean, I so I planned. They when, hopped in it this morning. Actually, when I too. was planning the girls' day, right, for me and Lissa and the girls, in my head I was thinking, oh, I'm going to paint my girls' as nails and maybe I'll do the X, Y, and Z with my girls and stuff. My girls, once their friends got here, they were like, skeet, mom, bye. Later. Later. They didn't want to hang out with mom. They wanted to hang out with their friends, which I understand. I'll plan a girls' day just for me and the girls. I'm like, do you? 
do you blame I, the kiddos? I, I don't blame them, not one bit. I just was, I don't know. When they were younger, you know, I had, they, <coughs> I would plan and do stuff with them and their friends and they would, you know, always be by my side oh, kind yeah. of a thing. And it is different. It is a, a change, you know, things are we changing. Also, we also lived in the city where it was very small and everything was very compact into it. True, but I, even when we lived so, in uh, Arizona, you know what I mean? We had a big backyard and... Yeah, but that's the desert. You're gonna be inside. Like, you ain't hanging out in the summer, in the middle of the sun, like I, the the day and everything. No shade. Facts. Facts. You know, uh, I'm going inside where it's cool. Mm, I, like. guess so. <laughs> I guess so. But anyhow, so I mean, it was good. I I just didn't have this the day that I had envisioned. I had a great day though, but it wasn't um what I was originally planning. Me and Lissa, on the other hand, though, um, we did the nails. We got nice and fat, eating food, watch some good uh, murder show and chill. It was good. It's getting a little foggy. These kiddos have been going ham on this thing. It's actually not as dirty as I was expecting it to be, considering no. the kids have been in and out, in and out. Mm -hmm. It's got a little little bit of stuff we could skim out of it, but yeah. it's not too bad. And it feels, oh my gosh, that feels so good. It's not that oh. bad. Hurry over, Lissa and Mike and the rest of the Dreamer kids. The pool is calling you. Let's see. <laughs> uh, I don't know if the... What you checking no. on over there? Huh? What you checking on over there? I'm going to get this pump going. The pump? Yeah. Is it off on here? What is going on? Reset it there. Okay. Make sure that this is set. It is now. What was that? Keeping an eye out for snakes? Yeah, I heard some moving around. It sounded like something rustling around over there, but I think it's the, the fly trap thingy. Mm. Brushing up against the tree. Yeah. Made me do the whole, you know, double take. <laughs> We're that? all a little extra nervous after our uh, recent scares we've been having. Me yesterday and then Anthony and Roxanne, uh, Mora had caught one. Just the other day, she got bit by one, um, and that's why I was complaining. Not really complaining, but that's why I was like, darn it, Maura, just making a joke, right? I was like, Maura, you were right there, and you didn't even bark. Because uh, we have been seeing some snakes, I mean, very aware. Now, I, just because you guys don't see it on camera does not mean that a pew-pew is not present on our bodies. I'm just gonna make that abundantly clear. Um, at any given moment, we are armed and ready to go. So don't worry, we are safe and uh, we are both very well capable and um, know how to go pew pew, pew to pew pew. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See, Gary's a good sidekick. I could sit here and talk all day and he just gives me that you. Yeah. <laughs> He's just tuning me out anyway. It's all good. I'm just trying to go with the flow, baby. I love you, baby. Look at all these bees we have right here. No, I know. I was wondering what that buzzing was. It's all these bees. They probably made a nest underneath the tarp right there. Yeah, they're thirsty. You know, chlorine's not good for you bees. The redneck filter is still going strong. Going good. It's not collecting any algae yet. No, not yet. It's the only downside to that thing. Sun blasts that thing like no tomorrow yeah, the when bucket. the pump's not running, and then everything in there turns to algae. Yeah. Which then circulates inside your pool and is bad. Um, <laughs> now there was a lot of questions about like our little redneck filter. Um, so it, the reason why it worked for us and what it's actually doing for us is it's getting rid of all of the minerals and stuff that was in our pool. If you have a super green pool like we did, you, there's no escaping it. You either have to drain it or you, use a ton of chemicals in order to clear it out. 
Well, um, so here's here's the thing. I'm gonna I'm gonna break it down for you guys. You gonna break it down for him, baby? I'm gonna break it down. Break for it you. down. These are regular pool filters for the pool yeah. that we've got, right? Now, whenever it's green, whenever it's anything whatsoever, it don't matter. Imagine this filter cleaning the pool. It ain't happening. It's clean. All right. You're gonna literally clog this thing in a matter of five minutes. <laughs> You're gonna have to pull it out, hose it off, put it in another one, wait five minutes and do it again and yeah. again and again and again. This area itself just makes it a nightmare for cleaning the pool. Now with that, you add a whole bunch of polyfill into there. Now you create a lot bigger one of these. Yeah, a giant one. So now I can collect a lot more and then I'm just swapping out that. I had to take literally about, I think it was, this is the fifth bucket full of the polyfill. After doing it four times of cleaning the pool, it finally got to a point where that last one was okay now it's holding the chemicals and cleaning it and are you talking about this summer for the algae this summer just okay, for yeah, the yeah. algae and like even when we did the well water it took like two fills for it to get from brown to crystal which right went a lot quicker because of just how that is right so yeah. there our pool right when we first made that thing um the pool was like brown and again, that's because um, with our well water, it's very highly mineralized. There's a lot of iron inside our water. And so as soon as you put the chemicals inside the pool, it like does a magic trick and turns the water brown. And the only way to clear it out was, was with that. So, I mean, it worked yeah. for us. I would say it'll probably work for you guys. I think it's a better filter than those junky little ones that you gotta get at Walmart. Yeah. Yeah, you testing the levels? Yeah, I am. I'm seeing what's up. Okay. I want to say that we're going to have to shock it, baby. I want to float today. I know. We got no chlorine in there. Kids have ran it rampant. I want to float today. <laughs> Kids have ran it rampant. Well, I'm still floating today. You can shock it tonight. All right. Yeah, I got to I gotta shock it and I got to bring that pH up a little. And do it tonight. Because today is too beautiful of a day to waste. I know. All... I'll get her. So. It's there. Oh. Uh, but Sundays are normally my days that I. Yeah. Take care of it. So I'll take care of it tonight. I'll hold off. I gotta check. I gotta check some other stuff on it, but. There it is. I'll get the filter or get that rolling. Yeah. Well, we're just uh, about done from being all dazed and confused and getting back into the swing of things. Yesterday was a good jump of two feet back forward um, with vlogging and I guess getting back into the swing of things and I'm happy that we took the time and I'm happy that you were able to help David and I was able to take the time with my friend yes. and um, I guess get back into the swing with vlogging. So like I said earlier, we do have a video coming out on Simple Life Reclaimed that you guys will see here very shortly. Keep your notifications turned on and stay tuned for it. Yes. Um, Tomorrow, because it is a holiday and whatnot, we are going to be, again, having one last little little hurrah, one last little relax, right? But then this week coming up, we have a lot of work planned, um, yes. especially for the animal tier area. I think we're probably going to be doing some shopping for some windows. We just have to see um, how much and what we can get done, when, etc. And we're going to do as much as we possibly can um, to try to tighten up and finish up some of these projects so then we can put our focus back on the cabin again. Yes. Yeah. But right now, the, the living creatures we have is going to be top, top priority. Top priority. Yep. 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 It's going to be fun. Today's going to be a wonderful day, friends. I hope that you guys are having a wonderful day as well. Um, sending you guys all the love, the good vibes, um, all that stuff, all the good stuff. All of it is all for you. A little sprinkle over there for you. <laughs> but we are going to get rolling. Um, I've got to get some things together before the Drifting Dreamers get over here. And... Yeah, so stay tuned for a new video on Simple Life Reclaimed. And we'll be back with another episode of Real Talk tomorrow because I'm going to be posting them every day for a little while. So stay tuned, guys. I love you guys so much. Thank you for being a part of our journey and for being a part of our story. And um, until the next one, friends, we love you all. And we hope you have a good one. And we'll catch you on the next one. Bye, you guys. Later, later.